For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of the resultant force and then sketch it. So we got F1 which has an X component, a Y component and a C component and we need to find first this projection into the X and Y plane of F1. So this projection, I'll write it like this, and it's equal to f of 1 times the cosine of 30 degrees. Because if this angle right here is 60, you know that this angle right here is 30 degrees. So it's equal to 346.4. Now that we got this projection, we can find the x and y components easily. f of 1 is f of 1 of x is equal to the projection times the cosine of 20. This angle right here will give you this vector. Which is equal to 325.5. And to find the y, which is this vector, you do the projection times the sine of 20. And it gives you 118.5, but it's negative because the, the y is going in this direction. To find the c, we find this vector. which is f of 1 sine of 30 this angle we calculate it right here which is equal to 200 so let's write 1 as 325i.5 minus 118.5j plus 200k Now f of 2, f of 2 is easy because y and c, f of 2 is easy because you have the coordinate direction angles, so f of 2 cosine of 60 is the angle that it forms with the x, f of 2 cosine of 60 again is the angle that it forms with the y and f of 2 cosine of 135 is the angle that it forms with the c axis. So the values are 250 and 250, and this is negative 353.6. So this is, oops, this is 250i plus 250j minus 353.6k now to find the resultant force you just add them which means you add the x with the x the y with the y the c with the c and it gives you a value of 575.5i plus 131.5j minus 153.6k. The next step to find the angles, which is what they're asking us, they're asking us for the direction angles, is to find the magnitude. Magnitude can be found by doing the x, y, and c components squared. This is the x, this is the y, this is the c. And square rooted, and the value is 610. This is the magnitude of f of r. 
and to find the coordinate direction angles. You do the cosine inverse of the x component over fr, cosine inverse of the y component over fr, and cosine inverse of the c component over fr. This is the x, this is the y, this is the c. fr is the magnitude, which is this. And the values are 19.4 degrees. 77.6 degrees and 104.6 degrees these are the angles this is the magnitude second force in Cartesian vector form first force in Cartesian vector form I would hate to sketch this but let's more or less give it an idea is positive 575 let's say somewhere right here 135 towards the y somewhere right here and negative 153 somewhere down there so i would say that's f of r it's going down in the c direction final answer